Good day and welcome to Newa TV again and this is Dr. Zolong Mubani coming to you with our FICAP scrolls. Today we'll be discussing urinary tract infections in general and this particular video I'll be introducing to you urinary tract infection and what it means and how it presents and in a second follow up video we'll talk about its management. Urinary tract infection like the name suggests is infection of the lower urinary tract system which includes the urethra and the bladder. The um, urethra is the short tube in the females, usually measured about 3.5 centimeters, that delivers urine out of the bladder to the outside. And um, infection actually is defined as the entrance of uh, a pathogenic organism, in this case mostly bacteria, into an area where it is quote unquote not welcomed. Its growth in that area, its multiplication in that area, and then when it reaches a peculiar number that overwhelms the defenses of the area and incites a body's inflammatory reaction against it, the infection um, is now existed. So generally, infection does not mean inoculation. And in the female gender, because of our unique anatomy, because of the close proximity of the urethra to the anal verge, inoculation with a bacteria into a sterile environment like the urinary system almost always occurs. Um, in the prepubertal female, it usually results in what we call a sterile bacteria. And after menarche and in the fertile um, reproductive aged woman, uh, it could result in an infection. And in the postmenopausal woman, this is even more paramount because the protective effect of estrogen to that area is slowly but surely lost. So the bug enters into a cavity where it is not supposed to be in. As long as it finds the materials needed for it to survive, it will start growing and then multiply and when it reaches a certain overwhelming number which is when really it gets to that cavity the body recognizes that they've been invaded quote unquote by the army of the bug and incites an inflammatory response against the bug and hence the infective process um, begins so generally that um, we find a bug or a certain amount of bugs in the urine doesn't really mean that one has a urinary tract infection. And the human body has the capability of actually, um, of actually ridding itself of a potential infection and um, getting the bacteria killed, so to speak. So when a bacteria enters into the urethra and from there into the bladder and establishes and divides by just splitting in half binary fusion and within hours to some days reaches that critical number that they now go to the bladder wall and incite an inflammatory response after they have lies the wall with an enzyme that they produce called the lies, then the infective process begins. Now, why are we interested with urinary tract infections? Um, it's usually caused by bugs that mainly come from the colonic area that are extruded during a bowel movement. And um, they can cause severe debilitating discomfort of pain urgency and frequency of urination and if unchecked and if the body is unable to actually get rid of them there is a potential of higher urinary tract infection from there leading to pyelonephritis and even septicemia which is infection in the blood in the older population in the postmenopausal woman this is more paramount and in the reproductive age woman if it happens during a pregnancy then pyelonephritis could occur. And there are some other cases where patients are unable to actually mount a good response against a bacteria and hence it might ascend to the upper tract that makes a UTI paramount to be treated. Patients with chronic medical conditions like diabetes could be at risk of upper tract infection. So the body created in the female gender 
the three openings in the pelvic floor. The first one is the urethral opening, which is meant to be sterile. This is actually embedded in the anterior wall of the vaginal introitus, and the vagina itself is clean contaminated, meaning that it has its own resident bugs, I call it, which don't really bother anybody, and they are not really pathogenic anywhere in the body. And then the third hole is the anal verge, which is purely uh, uh, dirty and contaminated. These bugs that are in the colon help in the production of the feces and hence are quote unquote healthy colonic bugs. But when they are released to the outside, just like everything else and everybody else, they are looking to survive and they only have a short 3.5 centimeter crawl before they get to the sterile urethra and find a place that looks like where they're coming from, moist and smooth, that they can now call home and cause infection. So this is a total, a little bit of a synopsis of urinary tract infection in the female. When we don't know where it's actually infected, if we find it um, incidentally in a woman, it, we are referred to it as urinary tract infection, but that includes urethritis or, um, or and the cystitis. Now, cystitis in general just refers to inflammation of the bladder. This could be infective or non-infective. Infective means that there is an organism, a bacteria responsible for that. Non-infective means that the bladder for other reasons is showing signs of inflammation, of unwell. And this could be interstitial where it is deemed that it's an autoimmune process and the body is essentially acting against itself. Or it could also be chemical where some metabolites in the urine from drugs given to the patient can cause irritation of the bladder. It can, it can also be radiative where if one has had pelvic radiation and there is radio, radiative energy embedded in the cells of the bladder, they could show um, symptoms of unwell and have those same frequency and urgency plus or minus incontinence symptoms. So to recap, um, cystitis in general will present with frequency of urination, urgency of urination, plus or minus pain with urination called dysuria. When this happens, it behoves us to figure out whether the patient is having a bacterial infection or a non-infective infection of how you lower urinary tract. It's important that it's dealt with and treated because one, it's uncomfortable, two, it has the potential of ascending disease to the upper urinary tracts, which now presents a little bit more of a bigger medical quagmire because of its potential to cause septicemia even checked. So thank you for listening to this video and in my next series we'll concentrate slowly on the management of urinary tract infection as well as, as, well as when it becomes recurrent in nature. This is Dr. Mubani signing out from Ficap Scrolls. Bye-bye.